what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel look at this nice and beautiful question on the board that we're going to be solving and the question says find the value of a for which a to the 32 is equal to 2 to the a well our first step will be for us to separate the variables that means I'm going to be making A to be on one side and making a constant term to be on the other side. So our first step would be for us to multiply the exponents by 1 over A. So on the left hand side, we have A to the 32. I'm going to be multiplying this by 1 over A equal to, on the right hand side, I have 2 to the A. I'm going to be multiplying this by 1 over a. Remember, whatever you do to the left, you also do to the right. Now, our next step will be for us to apply the law of indices, which says when I have x to the m, and this is raised to the n, the powers multiply. So that means this expression now becomes x to the m times n so let's apply this to what we have here so this becomes a to the 32 times 1 over a on the left hand side equal to then on the right hand side this is 2 to the a times 1 all over a good now notice that a can cancel off a and on the left hand side 32 times 1 that's 32 so i have a to the 32 all over a is equal to on the right hand side i have 2 to the 1 all right so our next step will be for us to multiply the exponents by 1 all over 32. so i'll do that to the left i'll also do that to the right so i have a to the 32 all over a i'm going to be multiplying this exponent by 1 all over 32 equal to on the right hand side i have 2 to the 1 and i'm going to be multiplying this by 1 all over 32 just as i did to the left hand side and now applying this law of indices we have a to the 32 all over a times 1 all over 32 this is equal to 2 to the 1 times 1 all over 32 now we see that 32 can cancel off so that we have 1 all over a as the exponent on the left hand side so we have a to the 1 all over a on the left equal to on the right, 1 times 1 is 1, all over 32. So we have 2 to the 1, all over 32. Very good. Now we've been able to separate the variable. We see that A is on the left-hand side, where the constant term is on the right-hand side. Now note that 1 is same as 2 divided by 2. So... I'm going to be applying this to what we have on the right hand side so this is a to the 1 all over a this is equal to 2 to the 2 over 2 which is same as 1 times 1 all over 32 this is actually the same thing and now on the left hand side we have a to the 1 all over a equal to on the right well I'm going to be taking the numerator here and I'll take it with a 2 so I have 2 as the base take the numerator of the exponent which is 2 good and as I do that I'm going to be left with 1 here so 1 times 1 okay let me just write it 1 over 2 so I'll be left with 1 over 2 times 1 over 32 1 over 32 
Very good. It is actually the same thing since this 2 also multiplies this. So our expression now simplifies into a to the 1 all over a equal to now 2 to the power of 2, that's 4. And 1 times 1 is 1 all over 2 times 32 is 64. Very good. Now let's move on to the next slide. All right, so we're going to be doing the same thing once again to the right hand side. So we have a to the 1 over a on the left. This is equal to, now I have 4 here. Now I'll be using 2 divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1 times 1 all over 64. So I haven't changed anything. So what I have here gives back what is here. So I have a to the 1 all over a equal to, like I did on our previous slide, I'm taking the base, which is 4. I'll take the numerator of the exponent, 2, and then I'm going to be multiplying by 1 all over 2. Since I'll be having 1 here, over 2 times 1 all over 64. Good. And this expression now simplifies into a to the 1 over a equal to 4 squared is 16, actually. That's it. And 1 times 1 is 1. All over 2 times 64 is 128. Very good. Very good. Now, we're going to be repeating the same process. Now, I have a to the 1 over a is equal to 16 to the 2 over 2. Remember, 2 over 2 is 1 times 1 all over 28. 1 over 1, 2, 8, rather. This expression now becomes a to the 1 all over a equal to, I'm taking the base 16, and I'll take the numerator of the exponent 2, and now leaving this with 1 all over 2. So 1 over 2 times 1 all over 1, 2, 8. 1 all over 1, 2, 8. Very good. So a to the 1 all over a now results into 16 squared is 256. Now 1 times 1 is 1 all over 2 times 128 is 256. Well, this is actually what I'm looking for. You can notice that the base and the denominator of the exponent are the same, a, a. And if you compare that to the right-hand side, the base is 256, and the denominator of the exponent is 256. And by comparison, you see that a is equal to 256. And there you have it. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.